Okay. back with another video so in today's video um we're going to be you're going to be coming with me to go get my il nana wax <laughs> it's like nah but today today's a very special day because today i am going to be getting my first post quarantine wax um i haven't had a wax since quarantine started so this is literally my first wax in March, April, May, June, July, in five months. Yeah, five months. I'm gonna be getting a Brazilian wax. Um, usually get every crevice wax. And uh, we're still in a pandemic, but stuff is opening here in New York. Um, certain stuff is opening. Um, my wax lady being one of them. But um, please keep in mind to keep staying safe, wearing your mask, washing your hands because this pandemic is not over. Um, just certain businesses and operations are going back to regular. Um, just because of how stuff is slowly progressing and getting better in some areas versus the others. But I'm only speaking for New York. Um, as of right now, New York is doing a little better than they were before, which is why um, a lot of stuff is reopening. My wax lady being one of them. So I'm extremely happy about that. Um, because, you know, we got to get this cootie cat. Wax because it's been a while and I'm tired of using Nair. Like, literally Nair burns me so bad. I don't know if any of you guys have used Nair before, but Nair burns the out of my skin like so bad so I can finally go back to my waxing lady and get shit back to regular and everybody knows like if you usually get waxes you can't go back to shaving like it's literally like an end of the road like you 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 graduated so there's no going back to shaving so I haven't been able to shave so mm -hmm. Your girls kind of had a little jungle down there and uh, the jungle fever is over today sweetie like it's over um it's back to schedule programming we're not doing this no more um I hope that my wax lady is okay with me bringing my I don't know if I should bring my camera or if I should bring my phone I think I'm gonna bring my phone with me just because yeah I don't want it to be too awkward I am going to get ready um my appointment's at 3 30 and it's 2 it's 2 21 right now so I'm about to get ready and then I will meet you guys back in the car once I'm finished getting ready. And do not forget to make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. And making sure you're tuned in because I am doing a giveaway pretty soon. Um, I want to do a giveaway when I get to 500 subscribers. So um, definitely make sure you stay tuned and tell a friend to tell a friend. So I will meet you guys when I get in the car. Hold up guys. Because I need to focus this. Okay guys, so I am on my way to my wax appointment. Um, trying to drive and get there safely. So I'm not gonna talk too much. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to my wax appointment. Why are these cars going so damn slow? Oh my God, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yikes. Yeah, but my wax lady, mm. She's 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 acting a little bougie right now because she told me 3 30 But she asked me if I was here and she told me my appointment was at 3 o'clock Honey don't play don't play because you told me 3 30 so that's the time I'm coming So now I'm speeding to get there because she got me thinking like I'm the one who messed up the schedule And she is the one who told me 3 30. So anyways, um, I'm in route I'm in route the cootie cat is in route Okay, she is en route and yeah, but I hope that she lets me bring my camera in. I hope she doesn't give me a hard time because I want to show you guys my reaction to this wax because I'm super scared. It's not too, too bad because I did nair a couple weeks ago, but it's a little fierce down there. I think I should record on my phone. I think I'm gonna bring my phone in because yeah i don't want her thinking i'm bringing a camera crew into her little establishment because she already acting a little funny and i don't like it and this shit this camera is doing the most like i just would love to know why it looks like i cracked the screen 
Ooh, child, I can't, I can't. So I'm on my phone, I just got here, and there's nobody in this fucking parking lot. Like, what the fuck is she talking about? You ain't got no fucking customers. Do not play with me. So yeah, I'm going in to go get my wax. I feel like everything is gonna be so different in here because of this whole virus. It's so loud out. Okay, so I just got in here. I'll come back when I get into the room to change. So I just got here. Um, I'm about to get undressed and get on the table. So give me one second and I'll be right back. This is gonna be all cool. Okay, I'm gonna have you. I need you to hold this, the skin tight for me. I'm right here. It's been a little warm. It's been a while. Definitely has. I'm so scared. <sighs> okay. numbing stuff that's in a pink mm -hmm. bottle that my one client seems to like and she really coats it up before she comes in with that she said that and she takes some Advil mm -hmm. 45 minutes before Okay. Okay. Oh, pretty clean. There might be a few, but they won't hurt like that. Okay. I'm sweating. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna come here with the sticky strip wax. So put your finger down below there. Okay. to get your period? No, I just got off of it. Hmm. Using all the same stuff as last time, except for I don't have the numbing spray. Maybe the numbing spray just buffered it a little for you. Yeah. It's maybe. been a while. <laughs> it's been five months. Mm -hmm. No, we forget. Wrong... Yeah. I feel like it's even been longer. I think it has been, yeah. Because my appointment was five months ago. So... A little more. 
Get a good moisturizer and moisturize the bikini area on a daily basis. It keeps the skin hydrated so that the hair can kind of grow out easier. Okay. So the more hydrated your skin is, the softer it is, it's easier for the hair to come out. Okay. Nair is, I believe it breaks it off right below the skin also, deep down. So I think it's almost like shaving. Go a little bit deeper, but I think it just breaks it, chemically breaks it off at the top of the pore. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you're very sensitive. There wasn't a whole lot of hair there. But this was how. This was literally, <laughs> this was literally the hardest thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> like, I literally feel like I've never had a wax before. Um, I was gonna do, I, I had to turn over on my butt for her to do my butt, so I didn't get her when she did my butt, but <sighs> this was, this was something else. So I'm gonna come back when I get into the car because I'm about to get dressed and pay. So I'll see you guys in one second. Okay guys, so I'm back in my car. Um, I'm officially done. I just left the waxing place and I am just so, uh, I'm flabbergasted, bitch. I'm fucking done. Like literally that shit hurts so fucking bad. Not to mention my last appointment was scheduled four or five months ago, but I'm probably like six months out because that was the last time I had a fucking wax because I usually get them every four weeks um it's not like unbearable but I'm definitely going to be sore um but yeah guys I did it I didn't think I could do it because I really have a low tolerance for pain but I did it and I'm super proud of myself so kudos to me and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, don't forget to make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and check back in. I don't know what other first things I really want to do because I feel like that's the only really thing that I didn't get done during quarantine. I already got my nails done and my hair done, but, um, this was probably the hardest thing I had to do and I did it, so I'm super happy I did it. <laughs> but I will see you guys in the next video. I love you guys so much, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.